is the Turnabout Toolkit. This is the second version of the Turnabout Kit. It's new, it's improved, it's bigger, it's better, and it has an exclusive stamp set and die that comes in it. So let's take a look. I love creative packaging. Here at Concord and Ninth, we're passionate about creativity, the crafting community, and innovative, fun, unique products. Thank you for being a part of this creative experience with us. Make it, love it, share it, open for the good stuff. Ta-da! It's a crayon box. Oh, how packaging makes me so happy. Let's take a look at what's inside because that's what we're really after. So we're going to have the new Concord and Ninth inks. If you haven't had a chance to try them, this is a great time to do so. You get grapefruit, stardust, aqua sky, and peacock. We have an Easy Dots full cartridge adhesive and a brand new eraser, a stamp set and a die that are exclusive to this kit. You're not going to get them anywhere else. You have a turnabout jig, a learn to turn book, and four uh, cards and envelopes to get you started. So let's take a look at the stamp set. The stamp set has the turnabout on it along with some individual stamps and the die set that comes with it has these pieces on it that I've cut out. A hello, thank you, a big circle. This is the stamped version of the little foliage and that's how it cuts out. The stamped version of the flower and that's how it cuts out. A set of leaves and then a, a sentiment that's all in one piece. And then you take this die right here and you die cut those and it cuts out all those little words individually. I love little things like that. All right, so let's take a look at the turnabout. Once you do it and you stamp it on all four sides, this is what it looks like. Let's turn about. The supplies you'll need are your turnabout jig, your stamp that you're going to stamp with, piece of card stock, your easy dot adhesive, and something to clean your stamp with. So the first thing you want to do is just open everything and get it ready. So we're going to take out the turnabout jig and then we're going to take out the stamp set. Now you'll notice that in your stamp set there is a clear sheet that has your stamping jig on it. This is really important. Don't throw that away. And I'm going to open this up. Now with every brand new stamp, they have kind of a film on them. So I always take a microfiber cloth and just kind of wipe that film off of it. And then your ink adheres a little bit better. If you forget, it still works. That just makes it a little easier. You have other stamps on this, as you can see, but we're just going to pull off the the turnabout stamp. Okay, so we're going to set this here. It says this side up and this is your center rotation point. So you're going to take your stamp and you're going to adhere it to this jig the right way. You're going to adhere it to this jig absolutely exactly where the stamp impression is on every one of these little spots. And sometimes this takes longer than making the card. All right. Okay, we're on there now. All right, so now you have your stamp adhered to your center rotator, to your stamp jig. So now right here where the X crosses in the middle, it says your center rotation point. You're going to take your turnabout jig, which also is perforated and has a line right there, and you're going to line the two up perfectly. And it's see-through, so it's super easy. Okay, once you get that lined up, and it is straight right on your little center lines, Then you're going to close the window of your MISTI or whatever stamping positioner you're using and adhere it to the window. Now you're going to open your lid. Your turnabout jig stays in here and your stamp jig now gets removed and we're done with that. So we're ready for our card stock. As you'll see on your turnabout jig, there are four little spots right here, and that's for you to position your card stock. So because we're gonna open it and close it, open it and close it, you need to put some adhesive on there to keep it in place. So I just use the Easy Dot adhesive. It's temporary, it's removable, and, and uh, it holds it very securely. So just make sure it's down. 
and we are ready to go. So I'm gonna use the colors that come in the Painted Petals Turnabout Kit, and we're using Grapefruit, Stardust, Aqua Sky, and Peacock. So I'm gonna start with the Grapefruit. It was just first in line. It doesn't matter, you don't have to go in color order or anything like that. Make sure you're getting a good inked impression on all of these little flowers and foliage. If you're in doubt, hold it up to the light a little bit and you can see where you've um, inked it and where you haven't. Now I'm using a dry erase board eraser to smooth mine out when I do this because my table is not perfectly level and this helps a lot. How pretty is that? All right, let's clean it off. So clean and turn about. So there's a number one, two, three, four. This was color number one. Now we're turning about to color number two. And that one is the stardust. So we're gonna ink it all up in the stardust this time. Close the lid and press it down. You can just press it down like that, but like I said, my table is not even. So from experience, I've learned that I, this has helped me. Number two, clean it off. Turn about, we're on to number three, which is color number three. And this one is Aqua Sky. This one's very light. It's kind of hard to see if it's inked up real well. So make sure that you open it and put it towards a light. I mean, open your lid a little bit and turn it towards the light so you can see that they're all inked up. You can go over this twice if you need to, but it just makes your color a little bit darker. See how it you can see it as it hits the paper. Open it up. It's getting pretty. Looks like patterned paper already. Now you can stop at any one of these spots. You can just do it once, twice. You can do it all four times in um, the same color. So we cleaned it. And now we're gonna turn about. So now we're on number four, which is the fourth color. And this one is Peacock. So like I said, you can do it once, twice, three times or four times. It's just up to you how, how you wanna do it. And if you want this to be full and pretty, but you want it to be all Peacock, then turn it all four times with just this color. Okay, last one. We have it on number four. Always double check. Let me open it up. Ta da! Gorgeous. All right, I'm going to clean this off so we don't set anything in it. And then I'm going to peel this off. And you have your little dots on the outside. So you're just going to run this under the sink or wash it off with your towel. And it's ready to go again. You take your adhesive remover. Take all those little dots off. And you're ready to go. Ready to stamp. Isn't that beautiful? In any angle, in any angle that you turn it at. It's pretty pretty. That's how you turn about. Let me tell you a little bit about turnabouts. These are an exclusive trademark product of Concord and Ninth. They came about in April of 2017 out of a conversation about how you could have a background stamp that would build upon itself and look like patterned paper. So they created the first one in April of 2017 and since then they have released 50 turnabout products. That's a lot of turning. Let's take a look at some examples for this one. This one I did the turnabout on the whole background. 
And then I used the thank you, backed it on a little bit of black, added some flowers and a foliage, and stamped friend. This one is the turnabout background, but I just turned it twice, once this direction and once this direction. Added a few flowers and foliage, and this time I used the hello. This card I stamped the whole piece in background, uh, the whole piece in the turnabout for the background. I cut the words out of it and backed them on a little bit of black, and then I used the remaining card to cut up into strips to put on this card right here. Now this white card, this was kind of a happy accident. I actually had this stuck to the back of another piece that I was cutting and I cut the edge off and I thought, oh no, we're not wasting it. We're gonna make a card out of it. So I used the hello on the background to create some pattern and texture. And then I added this as if it was supposed to be hanging off the edge and it made quite a pretty card. So I took the envelopes that you get in your kit and I folded the flap on the inside. Then I slide the card on the in, on the inside, but keep keep it out like this. Now, if you stack these up, you have a beautiful friend's gift to give to somebody that you care about. So this is the Turnabout Toolkit. Mm -hmm.